Okay, we got it unloaded. This is 1963 Corvette fuel injection uh, 327. It's board 30 over. Uh, dome pistons. Four speed Muncie transmission with a Hurst shifter. The guy said these were factory headers. They look good. I'm not sure about that. We're not sure about what size cam is in it. There's the extra parts. Uh, it's got extra uh, camel hump heads. Uh, this one also has got the uh, camel hump heads. It's been stored up uh, since around 1980. hasn't run since, but it was a running engine. It's going to be rebuilt. Everything gone through. What else, Billy? Oh, it's got the uh, NHRA approved uh, scatter shield ensign. So it got the matching oil pan? Oh, yeah. It's a cast aluminum oil pan with the fins to match the valve covers and the fuel injection. I've never seen one of those. Everything needs polishing up, rebuilt. It is what it is, though. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention with lighter. You can't see it, but the uh, serial number is 2151. Model number 7017375. And they started the numbers out at 1001 in 1957. Oh, that's pretty important. Well, we've got another future project. 1966 Chevy 2 Nova, two-door hardtop. Looks worse than it is. Someone cut these uh, wheel wheels out. We can buy them. Uh, Fifty-four dollars, believe it is. Goes back. We can buy those interior panels. And, uh, four pans are good, solid. It's got an extra hood, a uh, hood scoop on it. Two sets of headers. Big sump oil pan. A lot of good stuff with it. Paint looks bad, but we'll strip all that off. We'll get a new bumper. New headlight bucket. Might even make a Super Sport uh, clone. Anyway, it's got a lot of potential. Picked that up the other day. Parts. My old dude is still running, but I don't drive it much anymore. And we're going to build a gas route this one today. It's 65 Dodge. One at 500. Diamond T, Studebaker, 58 Chevrolet, a couple of power wagons, another Chevrolet. A lot of stuff to build.
play or not, that's a 34 5 window coop in here. Yeah, the deck lid and the firewall. Piece it together. Five Chevrolet school bus and a 1940 Bantam pickup.